Let's journey back to 1973, when the idea of a Metro Manila subway was first proposed. Fast forward 45 years, and the dream is finally becoming a reality. The Department of Transportation announced that construction would kick off in January 2019. Initially, the groundbreaking ceremony was set for December 2018. But due to scheduling conflicts among the key players, it had to be postponed. The Metro Manila subway is set to be a game-changer. This 35-kilometer line will stretch from Mindano Avenue in Quezon City all the way to the Ninoy Aquino International Airport in Pasay City. Imagine zipping through the city with trips taking just 40 minutes. The anticipation is building, and the excitement is real. This subway is set to accommodate up to 1.5 million passengers each day, with expectations to initially serve between 400,000 to 800,000 passengers daily. Proposed by the Department of Transportation and greenlit by the National Economic Development Authority's Investment Coordination Committee, this ambitious project is a cornerstone of the Duterte administration's Build, Build, Build program. The groundbreaking ceremony took place in Valenzuela City in February 2019, marking the beginning of a transformative journey. Phase 1 is slated for completion by 2025 with the entire Metro Manila subway project expected to be finished by July 2027. The construction is divided into two major phases, each consisting of multiple contract packages. The initial phase will focus on the central zone of the North Capital Region, stretching from Valenzuela to Paranac. The second phase will extend to the Northern and Southern Zones, further enhancing connectivity and revolutionizing transportation across Metro Manila. Stay tuned as we follow the progress of this groundbreaking project. In December 2020, the Department of Transportation partnered with the Department of National Defense, Armed Forces of the Philippines, DNDAFP, to receive a right-of-way for the project. The Metro Manila subway project will use 50,000 square meters of DNDAFP land, 60,000 square meters of land for tunneling works, and 55,000 square meters for temporary works under the deal. The MNSP contract package 101 includes the construction of the first 7.3 km section of the project from the depot in Valenzuela to the North Metro Manila, including the depot, three stations, and six shield tunnels, which connect the stations. Tunnel excavation commenced in January 2023. The tunneling work involves the construction of six underground tunnels with a total length of 9.5 kilometers, with an inner diameter of 6.1 meters. The project will use up to six Earth Pressure Balance Tunnel Boring Machines, TBMs. The contract package 102 known as CP-102 encompasses the construction of two stations, Quezon and East Avenues, for the MMSP. Construction of the same commenced in April 2023. CP-102 will connect commuters to Quezon City's Central Business District, government offices, and private institutions. CP-103 of the MSP includes constructing the Camp Aguinaldo Station, which will connect the Anonas and Camp Aguinaldo Stations to other stations and NIA terminals. The pre-construction works for the station commenced in November 2021. CP-104 includes the construction of two subway stations and tunnels at Ortigas North and South. In comparison, CP-105 involves tunnel works and the construction of two stations, the Kalehan in Makati City and Bonifacio Global City BGT, terminals in Taguig City. CP-106 involves electrical and mechanical systems and track works. CP-107 includes designing, supplying, installing, constructing, testing, and commissioning 240 train cars or 38-car train sets for MMSP. CP-108 includes the construction of the Lawton to Senate Tranche, and CP-109 includes the spur line linking to the Naya Terminal 3 station. Metro Manila Subway Route Details the Katipunan route was shortlisted among the three proposed routes. The line will run from Quirino Highway Station in Quezon City to Naya Terminal 3 in Pasay and FTI Station in Taguig. 
The subway will connect Mandano Avenue in the northern part of Metro Manila to Western Bakutan in the southern part of Metro Manila, where NALA is situated. Spanning across Valenzuela, the depot, Quezon, Pasig, Makati, Tagig, and a small portion of Paranac City, the subway system has a maximum operational speed of 80 kilometers slash. It will run through seven local governments and three business districts in 30 minutes. Two of the 17 stations will be interoperable with the North-South Commuter Railway Line. Quirino Highway Mindano Avenue Station, Tandang Sora Station, and North Avenue Station will be the first three stations to begin operations under Phase 1. The Manila Subway will be connected to major rail lines of PNR Clark, PNR Calamba, and the Common Station for better connectivity. It will also have a spur line extending up to NAOA to offer better connectivity for the passengers. Philippines Metro Manila Subway Infrastructure Metro Manila subway stations are being built using the cut and cover method, while the non-cut and cover tunneling method will be employed for the excavation between stations. The double tube single track DTST tunnel structure was preferred for the subway based on the expenditure, construction period, platform width, and ventilation requirements. The project has been granted special terms for economic partnership (STPP) and is expected to benefit from Japanese technologies and equipment. A Japanese tunnel boring machine with a diameter of 6.9 meters and a weight of more than 600 will be utilized to construct the subway. Metro Manila Subway will feature disaster resilient strategies to tackle the regular occurrence of typhoons and earthquakes. Water stop panels, doors, high-level entrances for flood prevention, earthquake detection, and a train stop system will be installed. Each subway station will feature a 210 meters long platform and an intermodal facility to facilitate transfers to and from a road-based transport system. Financing for Manila Subway the project requires an investment of $7 billion, which will be financed through a Japan International Cooperation Agency JACA, Official Development Assistance ODA, loan, which will have an annual interest of 0.1% payable in 40 years, with a grace period of 12 years. JICA signed an agreement with the Government of the Republic of the Philippines to provide an ODA loan of up to $900 and $40 million for Phase 1 of the Manila Subway in March 2018. In February 2022, JICA entered an agreement with the Government of the Republic of the Philippines in Manila to offer a Japanese ODA loan of up to 253,307 million yen for the MNSP for Phases 1 and 2. Contractors involved The Department of Transportation DOTO, signed a contract with a joint venture, JV, of Shimizu, Fujita, Teknaka Civil Engineering, and EEI, a construction company. The joint venture is responsible for designing and constructing three underground stations, tunnel structures, and the Valenzuela Depot, as well as infrastructure for the Philippine Railway Institute. Tokyo Tobishima Megawide Joint Venture, TTM JV, is constructing the first phase of the Metro Manila subway. Works under the CP100 and one is being carried out by a GV led by Shimizu. A GV between Nishimatsu Construction and DM Konsanji is carrying out works under the CP102 package of the MMSP. CP104 works are being carried out by Tokyo Tobishima Megawide Joint Venture, TTM JV, Japan Transport Engineering, JTREC, and Sumitomo JV are providing 240 subway train cars under CP107. Mitsubishi is designing, manufacturing, installing and delivering all the systems for the MNSP. In a consortium with Kola's Rail, LEED and Aegis, Thales was contracted by Mitsubishi to provide design and build services for the MNSP. The contract was valued at EUR Wundman, $1 Onman. Thales is providing integrated communications and supervision systems and the automatic fare collection system for a total of 156 million euros, 174.8 million dollars. Gym Technology, JIMT, 
a Japanese firm, was contracted to manufacture the six TBNs for the project. Benefits The new MNSP is expected to reduce travel time from Quezon City to Nale from 1 hour and 10 minutes to just 35 minutes. The project will help relieve traffic congestion in Metro Manila and serve 1 million passengers daily upon completion. In conclusion, the long-awaited Metro Manila subway, first proposed in 1973, is finally becoming a reality. This 35-kilometer line, part of the Duterte administration's Build, Build, Build program, will connect Quezon City to the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, accommodating up to 1.5 million passengers daily. With innovative engineering and disaster-resilient strategies, the project promises to revolutionize transportation, cut travel time, and alleviate traffic congestion. The first phase is set to be completed by 2025, with full completion by 2027. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.